Hey guys, we're Eamon and Beck, and I'll bet you've been wondering where we are. We're gonna tell you all of that, but first, we gotta bring you up to speed on how we got here. Over the past month, we've been converting a new van for Eamon's dad, Bob. Hey everyone. We know you guys are dying to see a van tour. We are too. But we've been waiting on a solar system, so we're a little bit behind schedule. Let's give you a little sneak peek on where we're at. Bob's van. Bob's van. <laughs> As you know, this is like the electrical section. That's where all the batteries. It's gonna close that up nicely. We're having huge issues with this stove again, which is incroyable, because we had the same problems with the regulator. We think the gas line's not going through the regulator, so that was another setback. You guys have seen this, but this is a great little feature, way to use the space. So he's gonna have his, uh, we hooked up the sewer line, so that's going right in there if he wants to do that and then he'll also have a quick disconnect into a gray tank and you know his fresh water's at the back. It's funny, the dogs have really taken over this little back cave here, so they're loving that, that they can ent enter in from there. Your sink, your filtered water, you've seen that. You've seen these, these are beautiful. Oh, okay, well we haven't look, seen that he's kind of moved in that. there. Yeah. That's awesome. Starting to. All of these fold up, right? So once he finishes, um, you know, all this entire area, he's gonna be able to put some blankets or pillows or whatever. This is something that we're going to be stealing from Bob. I love this idea. He's got rope to finish. Mm -hmm. He's got a really cottagey vibe, really yeah, cute. It's nice. I feel like we could use it all up along here, big thick stuff. I'm sure he'll maybe do that too. This is the van. This is the state it's in. It's so lovable. It just doesn't have power. So he's using shore power when he needs to. Um, yeah. Van tour coming soon. That's a little update for Bob. We were so inspired by Bob's conversion that we started thinking, hmm, should we rip out our kitchen and put in a bigger fridge? Should we do it? I don't know, should we do it? Should we not do it? It's a big project, we probably shouldn't do it. I think we're gonna do it. Dometic heard our cry for help and they sent us this. This bad boy is double the size of the fridge that we currently have. It's not just a simple plug and play. It's double the size of the fridge, so we need to redesign the entire under counter area, the water system. We might be insane. I guess let's get started. <laughs> ah! We haven't started any construction, we're still thinking. The whole changing everything right now is a little intimidating for a two day departure day. Mm, I'll save that for the next build. The next build? <laughs> the reality sank in when we realized we needed to be across the country in less than a week. Time to say goodbye to family. Bye! Bye. Love you! Love you. But not without a celebration for Beck. Happy birthday to you! Off we went with our eyes set on the west coast. The last three days have been a lot of driving, Filling up on gas. So about half an hour ago, I saw a gas station. I said, ah, I could probably get to the next one. And so now we're, we got the gas light on. Early mornings. We're on a native reserve island. And now we're <laughs> getting on a ferry. This is what happens when we wake up too early. It's 5 a.m. I just got up to do the morning shift and I wanted some proof that I do indeed wake up before this guy. Oh. Sometimes. Oh, a lot of shots. Meeting up with friends. We just met up with our friends Chris and Kaylin. Hi. Hi. Meeting some of you. All right, this is a really cute little vegan family here. We just sit beside them and they follow us on YouTube, so we figured we'd put them on the vlog. And the best American diner food we've ever had. Ever. E ever. Ever. <laughs> more food, more gas fill ups, and now here we are in the middle of North Dakota. North Dakota. <laughs> North Dakota. Oh boy. Stunner day. Beauty. All right. We get back on the road. Okay. So what's coming up next, you guys? A lot. A lot that we don't know. 
We're basically headed to spend the summer in and around the Vancouver area, but that does not mean we're gonna stay just there. Maybe we'll head to Alaska. Yeah, we're super excited about spending the summer on the West Coast. You guys know that we touched on it a little bit last year, but it was kind of not the best time of year to go to the West Coast. So we're really gonna enjoy the summer. Mm -hmm. We've got big plans to check out Oregon, possibly Washington. You know, you can just keep looking down. You see San Francisco, like who knows how far You're we'll looking get. down and I'm kind of looking up. Like I'm really intrigued by Alaska. So maybe we should do a vote in the comments below. You guys say down or up and we'll... Uh... Yeah, let us know if you guys have been to any of these places, what your recommendations are. You know, we love to hear from you. You know, we're going to take you along for the ride as much as possible. So hit that subscribe. Make sure you turn on your notifications by hitting that bell. And until our next update. We'll catch you Sunday. It's going to be good. Peace. Peace. Uh, can I just get like a, a, a sandwich burger fry. with like no burger, no cheese? I just want like the bun, the lettuce, and the tomato. So no meat? No meat, no cheese, no okay. mayo, no... Nah. Hello friends and welcome to our first uh, McDonald's experience in over a year. Yum! Cucumber, freshly chopped, and Whole Foods walnut cutlet. Oh damn. Okay. I'm gonna talk in the rope. Bye.